Hi everyone, so today we are going to be discussing about the Grimm's Law. The Indo-European family of languages, which English is descended, has eight branches including the Eastern one like Greek, Latin, Celtic, and Teutonic. It is from the Teutonic branches. This Teutonic branch is characterized by certain distinctive features which make the languages like English and German, which are descended from it, to stand out from languages belonging to the other branches of Indo-Germanic family. These distinguishing qualities of the tonic branches are its verbal system, and it the sound changes involving the first sound shifting were first formulated as a law by one German philologist named Jacob Grimm in 1822. The law formulated by Grimm has been named after him and is hence familiarly known to the students of the history of English as Grimm's Law. Grimm discovered certain correspondences between some consonant sounds occurring in the words of the classical languages like Sanskrit, Latin, and Greek, and those of the Teutonic languages like English and Gothic. Grimm started that there is regular shifting of the certain series of Indo-Germanic consonant sounds in Teutonic. The law which was started by Grimm referred only to the sound shifting of the Indo-Germanic voiceless stop consonants, P, T, K, and Qua. In order to illustrate the sound shifting, we can take words from the classical languages like Sanskrit, Latin, and Greek as representative of Indo-European consonant system which is best preserved in these languages. Words from Old English or Modern English or Gothic may be taken to represent the Teutonic sounds. Thus, we have the following changes. The first one is, Indo-European voice aspirated stop sounds V, H, and D became shifted into Teutonic corresponding voice stop sounds B, D, and G. That means, the old word varata is turned into the modern English word brother, madia to middle, stai to stai. The second one is the Indo European voice top sounds b, d, and g are shifted into tonic to the corresponding voiceless sounds p, t, and k. That means the Indo European word lubricus turned into slupan and to slupan which is an old English word, from svadu to sweet, from jelu to calds and to cold, which is a modern English word. And lastly, the Indo-European voiceless stop sounds p, t, k, and qu become shifted into tonic to the corresponding voiceless open sounds f, k, h, and w. That means the old word pita turns into father, pancha turns into five, tres turns into three, and canis turns into hand. Grimm's law, however, did not operate under certain circumstances if in the European ta or ka happened to be followed by ta and it is remained and changed so that from the combination pat and cut, we have in the tonic fat and hat. Again, if ta Ta and ka were preceded by an S in Indo-European, the combinations remain and change into tonic. Like for example, the word stai in Sanskrit is still pronounced as stai in Old English. Thus, we see after the formulation of Grimm's law, it was found that there were certain apparent exceptions to it. In a pair of words like the Latin word centum and the English word hundred, the correspondence between the C and H was according to Grimm's law, but there is no such correspondence between the T of the centum and the D of the hundred. So that's all for the Grimm's law. I hope you've gained something from this discussion. Thank you guys!